apparently there is a cover on the inside. Tfaddal. There's there's an internal fat. I'm happy to give it back to you, man. La, please. I don't want to steal your thunder. La, la, la. I right. don't have thunder. So in <laughs> 2000. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do this again. We're back with uh, our uh, fourth book uh, with uh, TNS, The Nerdy Show on the Internet. You can always go to thenerdyshow.com to find out more about the show and previous uh, programs and episodes. We are now addressing an unlikely audience, which is a, a book by William Humans. Uh, the subtitle is Al Jazeera's Struggle in America. The book is actually... Uh, very, very interesting uh, in, in various ways. And I know that William has been at it for so long, uh, published in 2017 from Oxford University Press. And uh, it basically uh, addresses the Al Jazeera, uh, Al, -Jazeera Al Jazeera's not just struggle, but actually ultimate uh, closing down in, uh, in America, Jazeera America channel. Uh, it's been uh, praised by uh, Terry Flew, Professor of Media and Communication, Queensland uh, University of Technology, as well as by Daya Thu, Thusu? Daya Thusu, uh, Professor of International Communication, University of Westminster, uh, London. And uh, I know that uh, uh, this is going to be something that Hatem and Adil, of course, as well as Nadia, will have quite a bit to say about. So I'll, I'll turn it to you, uh, Hatem. Sure. In 2006, the Al Jazeera Media Network sought to penetrate the U.S. media sphere, the world's most influential national market for English language news. These unyielding ambitions surprised those who knew the network as the Arab media service President Bush lambasted as hateful propaganda in his 2004 State of the Union address. The world watched skeptically yet curiously as, as Al Jazeera labored to establish a presence in the famously insular American market. So the book examines this attempt, the attempt by Al Jazeera to not just have the uh, Al Jazeera English be available in America, but have a America-specific Al Jazeera channel. Um, we have a number of uh, chapters here, uh, other than a preface, introduction, conclusion, and afterward. Uh, the first chapter is The Obstacles to Al Jazeera in America. Two is Media Ports of Entry. Three, In the Beltway Before the Spring, The Rise of Al Jazeera English, Except in America. Four, Al Jazeera English's Moment in the Media Politics Capital, Washington, D.C. Five, Al Jazeera America, the defunct New York City broadcast channel. And six, AJ Plus, Al Jazeera's a digital startup in San Francisco. And this is part of like the, this book's uh, method. You know, why is it that it's difficult for uh, foreign channels to set up a America-specific uh, service? Uh, and it then also builds off of this literature on media capitals. You know, the chapter locates specific aspects of the Al Jazeera uh, product in different cities. D.C., New York, San Francisco, <coughs> correlating to different types of uh, of news endeavor. And this is part of why it ends up failing, is there are so many different uh, mitigating factors. And the idea that, before we turn to our uh, friends, the idea is also that they really dropped the Jazeera brand and adopted the more CNN-ish brand and it became just a replica that actually didn't have any uh, of the usual spice we would expect. So uh, I, was, I was looking at Noah because he was agreeing, <laughs> not at the camera. So I was like, yeah, this is a nicer thing. Well, there's, there's, there's like a huge barrier to entry. And part of what this book does is it does this political economic read of what makes it difficult. What are the points of friction? You know, it's... I was just see it as one of these examples of what media scholars will call media counterflow. Instead of flow from the West to the rest, Here's a channel based in the Arab world and multiple other hubs trying to set up. And Al Jazeera actually had, Al Jazeera English has had a great deal of success. But the, the explanation as to why it doesn't succeed Al Jazeera America is, uh, 
Yeah, well, you have to read it. There's a... Yeah, but I mean, it, it, I used to watch it and it didn't look very different from CNN. So why would people switch from CNN to it? All, although if Al Jazeera English was broadcast in the United States, because it, it does retain some of that spice from the, uh, you know, the original Jazeera brand, however much this has been diluted over the past uh, 15 years, then it actually would make sense. But I'll, I'll turn to our uh, friends in uh, places far away, well, not so far away, in, in Nadia's case. Adil, Nadia, all you. Adil, go ahead. So, I mean, I mean this, this book is interesting because I think it, it was being written at a time when Al Jazeera America was, you know, came onto the scene and, and there was a, a strong, a great amount of curiosity and interest in to how it's going to unfold. But there was also like a very complicated strategic decision that you both covered, both Hatman and Vassem covered, uh, as to, you know, whether or not this new channel should cater to American audience sensibilities, whatever that means or whatever, however it's conceived versus bringing Al Jazeera's product to American audiences. And I think they decided to go with the, with the prior and, and in, in the defense of Al Jazeera America as, as a model, um, it was interesting because they genuinely tried to cover, um, uh, American news from a perspective that wasn't you know, wasn't available on CNN and, and you know, Fox News and, and MSNBC and all these other networks. Um, they actively hired um, journalists from so many different kind of locales across the country. Uh, they were fundamentally committed to the idea of like grassroots reporting in the United States. But at the same time, that wasn't exactly the Al Jazeera brand that people expected to watch. So and in the process, they also had to they came to an agreement to sacrifice Al Jazeera English. So Al Jazeera English is no longer accessible in the U.S. market, but Al Jazeera America is. And so there was a, I mean, it, they, they ended up paying the price of that really significant um, strategic blunder. But in addition to that, it was also, uh, you know, it was it was a black hole for, for money. It cost $500 million just to get Al Gore's network to broadcast and then another half a billion dollars to begin even get watched by anyone so so will humans book is 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 kind of an it's it's an interesting kind of retrospective about a channel that was meant to kind of create significant ripples across the u.s market and did nothing and so and why that happened and so this book begins to kind of explain where those mistakes are and then perhaps looking at that small subsidiary the aj plus kind of approach of reaching out to like digital audiences online and young people who are accessing news differently and seeing, oh, well, that that could have been that that's what could uh, what Al Jazeera America could have been, but wasn't. Um, so it was a very hefty price to pay for a failed uh, project. But but I think this book, if I understand it correctly, begins to kind of cross those T's and dot the I's so we can understand better what happened to this small, ambitious, but, you know, uh, ultimately, um, not so successful, into, uh, you know, uh, um, experiment. Yeah, I would say, I mean, I want, that's exactly what also makes this book, uh, you know, basically the book on Al Jazeera America is precisely because it shut down and, and will humans, you know, uh, kind of unprecedented and, and, you know, <laughs> nobody's going to get access <laughs> to, yeah. the, to, the, to the living, breathing <laughs> company after this. Um, so this is, you know, this is now the book uh, through which to study uh, the interplay of all of those dynamics in that particular moment. So, okay, that's that's wonderful. Uh, I uh, am very excited about this book, and I would like to say that Will is actually uh, next to door or down the street, across the river, whatever they say, uh, teaching at uh, GW, and we will probably have him on the show at some point. Thank you all so much. Let's move to our fifth book.